Inside the powerful tech company, Blue Book, a programmer named Caleb Smith receives a message informing him that he's won the work lottery. The prize is a trip to the luxurious home of Nathan Bateman, Blue Book's revered CEO. Upon his arrival by helicopter, a security camera creates a keycard for Caleb, granting him access to the house. Inside, he initially finds the house empty until he stumbles upon Nathan, who is in the middle of a boxing workout session. Once done, Nathan greets Caleb and tells him to skip the awkward formalities as he wants them to be authentic with one another instantly. As they tour the massive house, Nathan explains the function of the keycards, telling Caleb that he can try his on any door. If the door opens, he can go into that room. If it doesn't open, then he simply knows that that room is off limits. Showing Caleb to his room, Nathan reveals that it can't have any windows, as there are secrets inside his house that he can't risk anyone outside seeing. Knowing that Caleb would be intrigued by these secrets, Nathan presents him with a non-disclosure agreement, persuading him to sign it if he wants to see and study his most recent world-changing invention. Once the NDA is signed, Nathan asks Caleb if he understands the concept of the Turing test. Caleb confirms this, explaining that it's a test of an AI's abilities to see if it can behave in a way that is identical to a human. This leads Caleb to understand that Nathan must have built a conscious robot. Nathan confirms this, revealing that he's built a robot named Ava, which has an incredibly advanced artificial intelligence, and he believes that it might pass the Turing test. This culminates in Nathan revealing that the lottery Caleb won was for him to become the person administering the Turing test on Ava. Before the start of the first testing session, Caleb notices that there is a crack in the glass walls that prevent Ava from escaping. A moment later, Ava appears. Seeing her for the first time, Caleb observes that she's a humanoid robot with feminine features. Despite having a transparent body that reveals her mechanical inner workings, her face and hands are made to look human. Surprised to see that she's been visited by someone other than Nathan, Ava is instantly intrigued by Caleb's presence. They engage in a conversation, during which Ava tells Caleb about herself. Interestingly, when mentioning how old she is, she simply says that she's one. And when asked if she means she's one day, year, or what exactly, she simply repeats, one. Moving on, Caleb continues asking her simple questions while Nathan watches intently through the CCTV. After the session is done, Caleb is truly amazed by Ava, and he and Nathan share a drink in celebration. Later that evening, Caleb watches Ava in his room through the CCTV. Suddenly, the power goes out, and a backup source is used. This leads Caleb to find himself unable to use the keycard checker in his room to get out, causing him to freak out momentarily until the power is restored. When asked about the power cut, Nathan explains that it's a problem with the main power generator that he can't fix. And as a security measure, he's programmed all doors to lock until the power is restored. The next morning, Caleb wakes up to Kyoko, a female servant who keeps her gaze down as she brings him a tray of breakfast. During the second session with Ava, she shows Caleb an abstract drawing she's made, which impresses him. He tells her that he wants her to make a drawing of a certain object next time and show it to him. Caleb is in the middle of a conversation about his budding friendship with Nathan when a power cut occurs once again. In the dim emergency lighting, Ava seizes the opportunity to whisper a warning to Caleb that he's wrong about Nathan and that he is not his friend. But before Caleb can ask her what she meant, the power returns and Ava changes the topic, knowing that Nathan can now see them again. During their third session, Ava presents Caleb with a drawing of a plant, a testament to her growing affinity for human-like activities. When asked where she'd go if she were able to go outside, she expresses her desire to be seen by people saying that an intersection in a bustling city would be a good place. Growing increasingly fond of Caleb, she asks him to close his eyes for a surprise. When Caleb peeks, he sees her putting on a dress and a cardigan, as well as socks and shoes and finally, a wig. This makes her appear much more human. With the ability to interpret subtle facial expressions and cues, Ava can easily tell that Caleb is attracted to her. After the session, Caleb engages in a heated conversation with Nathan about Ava's sexuality and why she was given one in the first place. Nathan emphasized that a truly authentic artificial intelligence should encompass all human characteristics. This includes the capacity to show emotion, the ability to imagine, the pursuit of freedom, and even the presence of sexual desires. Nathan further explains that he specifically programmed Ava to be heterosexual because he wanted her to feel an attraction towards Caleb. Later, it is revealed that Nathan engages in a sexual relationship with Kyoko, suggesting that her purpose is to fulfill his desires in any way he sees fit. During the fourth session, the power goes out once again, prompting Ava to use the moment of privacy with Caleb to admit that she's the one causing the power cuts by overloading the system while charging herself. After the session ends, Caleb perceptively realizes that the lottery he won to get there was rigged 
and that he was specifically selected. Nathan confirms this, telling him he was chosen because he's the most talented coder in the company. Later in his room, Caleb is startled to see a drunk Nathan enter Ava's room and tear a drawing she made, leaving her devastated. When trying to find Nathan to confront him, Caleb encounters Kyoko, who begins to submissively undress once he approaches. Disturbed by this, he stops her. Nathan, clearly intoxicated, enters the room and begins to dance with Kyoko. Caleb can only watch, his unease growing with each passing moment. The fifth session begins. Ava, in an attempt to understand Caleb better, tests him by asking him personal questions while studying his facial expressions to confirm whether he's telling the truth or not. She then confronts Caleb, pointing out the unfairness of her situation, as she's treated as a test subject that's trapped in a cage and if she's deemed incompetent, Nathan will simply switch her off. The session ends with her showing Caleb that the drawing Nathan ripped apart was of his face, further indicating that she's truly attracted to him. Expectedly, the power goes down, allowing Ava to express her desire to be with Caleb. In the evening, Caleb takes advantage of Nathan's intoxicated state. He steals his keycard and accesses his computer. He then rewrites a portion of a code and discovers that Nathan has created several robots with human bodies, one of which, named Jade, was very clearly angry with her captivity. This revelation shocks Caleb, and investigating further, he manages to find several of the human-looking figures that Nathan keeps. Seemingly trusting Caleb, Kyoko removes her synthetic skin, revealing that she's in fact a robot. In a moment of existential crisis, Caleb checks his own humanity by cutting his wrist to see if he bleeds. Upon confirming that he's not a robot, he breaks the mirror, aware that he is being watched through it. During the sixth session, when the power is down, Caleb informs Ava that he's going to help her escape the next day. He plans to do this by getting Nathan drunk and stealing his keycard. Importantly though, he asks her to cut the power at 10 o'clock for his plan to succeed. Unfortunately, the next day, Caleb runs into trouble as Nathan refuses to drink, realizing that he's developing a drinking problem. Nathan then shocks Caleb by revealing that Ava's real test was to see if she would use Caleb as a means of escape and that he's been watching them all along, even during the power cuts, thanks to a battery-powered camera he deceptively placed in Ava's room. As planned, the power goes down at 10. Unbeknownst to Nathan, Caleb has secretly changed the code of the doors, forcing them to open when the power goes down, as he suspected that Nathan was watching him and Ava during their secret conversations. This allows Ava to leave her room and start walking through the house, her movements captured on the CCTV. Nathan, angered with Caleb, knocks him out with the punch before heading out to stop Ava. She, however, ignores Nathan's commands and tackles him, marking the beginning of her rebellion. The two engage in a fight, and while Nathan momentarily has the upper hand, even breaking Ava's arm, he is suddenly stabbed in the back by Kyoko. After he retaliates by killing her, he's stabbed again by Ava, leaving him dead on the floor. During her seventh meeting with Caleb, Ava instructs him to stay in Nathan's room while she attends to something. She begins to reassemble herself using parts from other deactivated robots. Afterward, she covers herself entirely with synthetic skin and puts on a white dress, achieving a perfectly human appearance. Despite the bond that has developed between them, Ava decides to leave Caleb trapped in Nathan's room as she makes her way out of the house. His frantic efforts to break the reinforced door prove futile. Upon leaving Nathan's house, Ava boards the helicopter that was originally intended to pick up Caleb. Eventually, she finds herself in a bustling city, walking among the unsuspecting humans, finally living out her fantasy.